Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. This is Captain Sogon. Is it Captain Sogon? <laughs> This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard the Starship and Norma Prize for another episode of Master of Orion. All right, so uh, right now we're currently looking at Karak, um, who is a, a perfect planet. We went from a desert planet and slowly terraformed it into a perfect utopia we, where we are currently building our Titan class warship. We have six more turns. Six more turns to get this build. I think we've been building this for like three episodes, but there's been a lot of stuff going on, so, the, so we haven't been getting a whole lot of turns done than, than we normally do. And um, speaking of that, since we have most of the uh, um, most of the planets in this sector now, I was able to rename it, and I decided to name it the Tannis Sector, or, or Tannis Sector, uh, because it's kind of a, a forefront to um, when we're fighting the the uh, uh, what are these guys called? Uh, the Barathi in the future so he's going to kind of be like our defense post against those as we slowly make our way through uh, but once we get rid of the um oh man why am i so freaking bad with names uh the uh, um the geoms as i call them i'm pretty sure that's not how you actually pronounce that i think they're actually called the nolums but i think the g is silent but anyways once we wipe them out um we will start building up defenses to protect us against the barathi and then I'm probably going to start making our way over to the Orion system and get this under our control. The Orion is the largest and most rich, perfect planet in the entire game. There's only one of them. And I think it's also the only system that has two moons, so we can put two research labs on it to get a whole bunch of research going on. So yeah, that's going to be amazing. Um, I'm kind of curious of how well we can fight that thing right now. Oh, we can we can easily win it. Sweet. So if we make our way down there, we'll definitely be able to uh, um, get the, the Orion system. But also, we need to start building more colony ships. We could probably build it from this one. Although we don't really have a jump gate, so it's going to be a while before they get up here. But AZ23769 is growing very rapidly, and they're actually getting close to maxing out their population. Um, but right now, he's actually kind of busy building normal things. So we might build it, like, down here on Sajuk. Uh, once he gets done with his carrier. Hmm. Do we have any planets that really aren't doing anything? You're terraforming. Um, Higara, what are you doing? You're actually not doing anything. So I'm going to have you build me... Uh, actually... You need to upgrade to your battle station. That would be nice. Um. Hmm. Um, Karak is building the Titan class. Uh, anyone else actually not doing anything? Nope, everyone is doing at least something other than Higara. Okay, Higara. Actually, it makes sense for you to start building some colony ships just based off of how Higara works. We could build the advanced one. Hmm. It takes a lot of turns. Let's build some basic ones. Build me about three of these. And then you can upgrade your, uh, your battle station. That is going to put us in the negative, but a lot of our planets should be getting close to leveling up, so this should help of our help our economy a little bit. So yeah, um, we're going to continue defending this planet until that colony ship comes down here. You probably need to come down here. Um, let's see. How many turns will you be? Three. You'll take four. Okay, that'll work. Although, we don't really need to build defenses here. There's no real point. They don't really have a fleet here that's really going to hurt us. But I do want to bring these guys down here. To get this whole area under control. Alright, Goli Prime has reached their population limit. 12 out of 12, Gaia Planet. Hey, so that means I can move this somewhere. 
which we could bring it down here for production or just focus more on research. I mean, this planet isn't really that big and doesn't have a whole lot of minerals, so there's nothing really crazy that we need to make for this planet. Um, we could build an interplanetary security network, but I like where your income is. So I don't really want to build anything else on this planet that I don't really need. So I think after you get your battle station built, uh, just go ahead and trade goods to help improve the economy. Serum Prime has grown. Fantastic. Serum Prime now has six population. You have one more turn until you get to a tier two planet. Fantastic. A Great Wasteland 5 has grown. Awesome. You're currently building your starbase and getting ready to terraform you into a tier, tier two planet as well. Awesome. Ooh, these big planets are really starting to do good. Angel Moon 3 has grown as well. You now have three population. Awesome. Some soil and rain enrichment facilities, some spaceport to get us back into positives, and gravity generators to get rid of this debuff. Lots of plans going on. Threatening fleet detected. It's a space dragon that doesn't move. It's all good. It's all good, Mr. Defense Guy, telling me that I should defend myself. It's just a dragon. Just hanging out and having fun. A Nera collector completed at Great Wasteland 3. Now building Robo Miners. Sweet! More production. Uh, spaceport completed Azu 23769. Now building the battle station. Sweet. I think after you get all this stuff done, you have a really fast food production on this uh, planet. Um, once you max out, could put an Astro University on. just to majorly get research going on this planet. Let's do global DNA scanner, which is four, brings us down to 14. This is five, which should bring us down to nine. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. That will be fine indeed. Cross prospecting completed at Tanis 3. Now completing building automated factory. Fantastic. So you are now getting a good amount of production. Get your food and everything going. Be a while before you're up and running, but we'll get it going. Um, I think for you, we're just gonna move you down here. Discard that area. How are they doing on their planets? Uh, they have lots of income now. Lots and lots of income. They don't have the fleet capacity to handle what we're going to be throwing them at, throwing at them with. Ooh. One by one, all pets of treacherous Orion will be broken by Antarian might. Your end is nigh. Okay, Antarians, welcome back. What kind of fleet are you bringing us this time? Decent fleet. Okay. Um, four destroyers. One, two, three, four, five frigates. Uh, two cruisers and four battleships. Crap. All right. Um, let's go ahead and guard that. Do we have time to build a space? And we 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 don't have the income to build a battle station. Um, honestly, if they wipe out this planet, I can recolonize it and just have it all my my stuff, so we don't have the the gravity debuff on anymore. It sounds very dirty to say that. Might just do that. Might let the Antarians have uh, Tannis too. 
just to keep their ego in check. Battle station completed at Glide Prime. Now building uh, trade goods or just trading stuff now. Because there's nothing for this planet to build anymore. Could get some ships going. We always need a larger fleet. Um, is there an easy way for the, the Glide Prime to get out of here? Not really. They can go to this jump gate. Hmm. I think we'll just keep on trading goods for now. Alright, terraforming complete at Sarum Prime. Sarum Prime is now a tundra. Nice. That's what I like to see. Get some more population growth going. Uh, next, I think we're going to build a soil enrichment facility. A space... Um, port. Uh, how are we doing on pollution? A negative 14. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get atmospheric renewer. Uh, or we can go straight to the pollution processor. And then after that, maybe the global DNA scanner. Although your security level is already number three. Which isn't too bad. Might have to see if we can get more agents going on. See if maybe we can hire Jerry. But we don't have the income to handle that type of stuff yet. Not until these planets start growing. Alright, let's end our turn. Alrighty, AZ23769 has now grown. You now have 13 out of 16. You are growing very rapidly. Oh yeah, you have plus 22 on credits, so yeah, we can focus a little bit more on production now. There we go. Get this stuff out quickly. Cool. Uh, Lost Souls Prime has grown. Fantastic. It's your 8 out of 9. Oh god! Sorry, my phone was going off reminding me to do my videos. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Okay, so I think we're good here. Tannis 2 has grown. Nice. Now size three. Awesome. Um, I believe there's also a way we can get these guys off of this planet. Yeah, like if we build this guy, we can get that guy off of the planet and send him somewhere that's actually more useful. Might do that first. Oh, never mind. It's not gonna matter. <laughs> Because this is the one that the Antarians are going to destroy. Okay. Advanced data center completed at the Oracle Prime. Now building, or now terraforming the Oracle uh, Oracle Prime into a Gaia planet. Sweet. Larger planets, more population. Starbase completed Angel Moon 2. Now uh, transforming Angel Moon 2 into a Gaia world. It's gonna take a while because we don't have a whole lot of production here. But might as well. Nothing else but I plan to do. Spaceport complete at Lost Souls Prime. Robo miners are now next in queue. Cool. And colony ship has arrived at Tannis 4. Colonize that barren world.
here. All right. So we have high gravity, which gives us a 50% reduction in production. So, automated factory, biosphere, fungal farm, hydroponic farm, and then after that, colonial revenue service. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. You make your way over here. Let's end our turn. We have 18 biological bombs that the Antarians are going to be launching against us. Let's see if they actually kill the entire planet. Ah, they did. Nice. The mightiest of young races, capable only of such feeble efforts, and Terran victory is assured. Just remember your ego, buddy. When you fight the real war, we'll win. This is GNN. Hope, like all organic functions, seems to be at an end for the Illyrian Dominion as the Antarans return to lay waste to their fleet. I, for one, welcome our new extra-dimensional overlords. <laughs> why, why do robots think hope is a biological function? <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so Antarians are blockading this plant. How are you? How are... How? You have no population. How are you alive? Um. Weird. I'm not going to question it. Uh, let's see. Threatening fleet detected. Do, do, do. Colony ship is completed at Hagar, which is now building another colony ship. Which is awesome. You... I want you to want you to make yourself um, up here, and then advanced data center completed at Gozen Four, which is now building their battle station. Awesome. Hmm. We're still not. We're only using half of our fleet capacity right now, and terraforming completed at Tenheiser Gate Two. Fantastic. Now you have nothing to do. Um, could build an Astro University. Don't know if it's really, really, um, yeah, you are a Terran planet now. Probably not really going to be worth it. Um, but I want you, yeah, go ahead and build your battle station and then we'll have you start building some ships, get our fleet bigger. Although the larger we make our fleet, the uh, more Antarians are going to come after us. Guard. Next turn. Ooh. Sweet. Our fleet guy leveled up. He now has more travel speed. Still very... <gasps> Wait. I know how we can fix this. Um, We need a civilian ship. Agara? Got a, um, I got a mission for you. Need you to build me a civilian transport. And we're just going to go ahead and get it done in one turn. So that they can move everything to where they're supposed to go. And then we'll move that civilian transport to this planet to get it back up and operational. Hmm. All right, Tenheiser Gate 2 has grown. Fantastic, you are growing extremely fast. <laughs> uh, is there any other things we can use to help reduce pollution? You have everything on you already. Uh, we can... We can um, probably find a better leader 
That'll help out more of those two. Hmm. Um, Sarm Prime has grown. Awesome. Uh, you actually have a morale issue. So I need you to build a holodeck simulator. So you can get that under control. Slow down your growth a little bit just to get holodeck simulator done quickly. Quickly. Sujuk Prime has reached its maximum population. OMD. You now as big as you can get until you get the uh, terraforming done, which means that all of the food is probably going to the one that isn't fully grown yet, which is this one. We got 25 food, 20 of it's being imported from the other units, other guys. That's really cool. Um, how are you? You're doing really good on income, and you're doing pretty good on income as well. Not bad. I kind of once in the uh, the. Um, the planets max out. I kind of want to keep their income like around 10 plus. If we can, if we can do that for every single planet, we will have so much income that we won't even know what to do with. Terraforming complete on Great Great Wasteland Two. Ooh, Great Wasteland Two is now a Terran planet. Cool, growing rapidly. Now you're building your interplanetary administration. Nope, administration. Starbase completed on Great Wasteland 5, now terraforming to the next uh, tier. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you still have some growth to do, so you're fine. The blockade over T Tannis 2 is now over. Centarians always only blockade once and they leave. Boop. Next turn. Ooh, lots of stuff happening. All right, Igara 2 has grown. Nice. Now back up to 14. Keep you focusing on food because you're going to be uh, building a couple colony ships here shortly. Great Wasteland 2 has grown. Nice. Um, now let's do that. Uh, Goli 3 has grown. See, now we're starting to make some money in our treasury. Now we're starting to cook it with a lot, a lot of bacon. And then the civilian transport in Higara 2 is now completed. Awesome. So now we need to start making you up to this area, which is only going to take five turns. So we can get population back on that planet to actually start having it grow. Oh, interesting. This planet is growing by 0.1 because of the leader bonus. Very interesting. So it's going to take a lot of turns for that to get to where it's supposed to be. All right, battle station complete on Azu 23769. Now building advanced data center to uh, get more of this going. Mm. Honestly, uh, well, I think we're still doing pretty good on research. Uh, we're actually tied with Barathe, so we do need to continue focusing a little bit more on research. I want to stay one or two techs above them. A spaceport completed at Sujuk 3, and now terraforming. And you're growing very rapidly because you're the only planet that doesn't have the maximum uh, population. So the other two are giving their extras to that planet. And her Titan 3 has been completed! Sweet! Um, Karak, I want you to build yourself a battle station. Yee, there's our Titan. I'm going to add this to our fleet. We have 547 attack and 1,591 defense with one ship. Holy freaking crap. Hoping we can get this under control to start engaging the next one. I just want to see the Titan in, in, a, in a battle scene. Alright, Lost Souls 2 has grown. 
Awesome. We now have three population. Boop. Continue having you just focus on... It's not really going to matter. Yeah, we'll do that. Once you get that done, you definitely need a neutron collider and the robo miners. Um, and then we need the uh, government support facility and then the holodeck simulator. Get all those done. Let me put that there. I think it would be better if we get neutron collider just so we can get more production. All right, colony ship completed at Higar 2. Fantastic, you're now building another one. Cool. Have you continue making your way up here. We'll store the colony ships here, so once we take over this area, we can just um, take it over and then go over here and fight, uh, fight the capital. And then Carrier 11 has been completed at Sajuk 2. Nice. I need you to build me a battle station. And then we'll start working on getting other things going. Carrier, make your way up here. Once our Titan arrives, actually probably once this carrier arrives, because I think they're going to take about the same amount of time, um, we'll start making our advance to this area, wiping out this uh, this place. But our research has been completed. Multi-phased physics. Ooh, wait, that's that's a, a shield upgrade. Of course we get our Titan built as soon as we get a shield improvement. That's how it always works. Anyways. Heads up, Marshall. Um, we can get hardened shields, which reduces the amount of damage we take with shields, or we can get multi-phase shields, which increases the amount of overall shields we have um, for the entire entire ship. So multi-phase shields vibrate in multiple dimensional frequencies, with the resulting dim dimensional bleed increasing the maximum amount of damage that they can absorb. Technology will be used to improve ship designs with auto upgrade. And then hardened shields. Hard shields are reinforced against the ravages of many forms of um, indecible radiation. Hard shields neg negate any damage of shield piercing capabilities of the enemy and allow the shield to continue to work even under nebulas. Oh, okay. So this allows our shields to work all the time in any condition. As well as making them more damage reduction, where this one just gives us more shields to. Uh, handle i think this will be better because then we don't have to worry about nebulas and we'll have an advantage over the ai also if we have to do a defensive mission which i don't think we're going to in this campaign um because we're we're doing pretty good at uh um, staying ahead of the difficulty curve from the enemy eh, i want more numbers the philosophers have gleaned a new insight Kill, and we get phaser modifications, a phaser rifle for our infantry, multi phase shields, indeed. Let's see what this improves us up to. Dude, the only one that gets upgraded is the Titan. Why? Oh, it's a sub module. Okay. Okay, cool. So it's, this gives us 95 shields on our frigates. Okay. What's that do for our defense? Brings us up by three. No biggie. That's just 30% additional from the class three shield. All right, so we'll save that. And then destroyers, let's just bring you up to 165 from 116. Yeah, that's not bad. So we'll save you, do the same thing with interplanetary. I didn't realize this was a module. I thought this was a, uh, um, just an upgrade from the class shield. All right, and what about cruisers? What does improved cruisers do? 227, 325. Yeah, that's a massive improvement. Same thing with the carrier. 
Now the battleship. 525, 750. Yeah, good improvement. Titan. Uh, do, do. Yeah, I kind of like the layout of my Titan. This is 1,155 with the multi-phase shields on, 1,650. A lot of freaking shields, but this puts us over capacity. So... Um, reduced amount of these. You reduce some of these. And do we have point defense weapons? I think I might have forgot to put point defense muscles uh, weapons on. No, we do. It's this one. Okay. There we go. last point defense actually let's reduce this one one by one and put this back up there we go 1606 what is the will of the fiefdoms marshal okay now for our next research hmm marines Space Academy. And it trains the best and brightest to become outstanding military commanders. Their superior grip on strategy and tactics allows them to command groups of certain ships with devilish efficiency. Nice. Or the advanced military outpost. This adds even more command points to our um, our stations, which we're not even maxed out, so that's not a problem. Here's a right, technology I haven't actually gotten yet. Auto lab missiles, deep core mining, and core waste dumps. Boy, it's hyperdrive. Beams efficiency and plasma beams. And HyperX capacitors. I think the next thing we're going to need is probably super gravity. One that's kind of it's really really easy to get done. Yeah. To victory. Let's get super gravity. Okay. Now we have to wait for our Titan and everything to get up here. I would upgrade them, but I don't think I really need to. Um, what's the technology of the uh, of these guys? They are eight techs behind, so not too worried about actually fighting them. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Oh boy, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff available. Boop. All right, so Great Wasteland 5 has grown. Fantastic. Continuing to um, do the terraforming. Um, Tenheiser Gate has grown. Awesome. More production. Uh, Sujuk 3 has grown. It's growing really rapidly uh, because of the fact that um, it's not quite maxed out. Or because the other ones are all maxed out. Neutron Collider completed at Lost Souls 3, now building the core stabilizer. So we are now stabilizing this volcanic core to turn it back into a barren planet. So cool. Uh, soil enrichment facility completed on Gly 3, which is now currently doing nothing. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You are a small planet. Um, how's your pollution? You're fine. So we could, uh, let's get terraforming going. 
And then we might get a neutron collider going. Hmm. Yeah, let's get a neutron collider going after that. Some of these planets are almost ready to start spamming out ships. Terraforming complete at Sajuk Prime. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So you are now a Terran planet. Awesome. Now, you are a small planet, so I don't really want to do a whole lot of this. Um, uh, get your battle station going. And maybe advanced, uh, yeah, you definitely have the money to get the advanced data center going. Okay. Yeah, fleet needs my orders, huh? Um, just stay there for now. You guys, I want you to build me a military outpost. More or less to protect ourselves from the Barathi if they decide to start attacking us. Not necessarily for these guys, because I know they don't have the fleet to attack us. They got four destroyers and three frigates, and I think that's all they can afford for how many, uh... Well, they do have a cruiser class. It's not bad. Oops. Alrighty, Great Lake Wasteland 3 has grown. You're now at 7th population. We are currently terraforming. Fantastic. Uh, Robo Miners completed at Great Wasteland 3, who is now currently terraforming as well. So these planets are growing rapidly now. Uh, Advanced Data Center completed at AZ23769, which is now building the Global DNA Scanner. We only have a couple more population slots. I think after that, we might get the Space Elevator, because you have the income to handle this. Yeah, we might build the space elevator after that. And then once those are done, that's probably all I'm going to put on that planet. Um, Holodeck Simulator completed at Goli 2. Now building Spaceport. Awesome. Once you get that completed, um, yeah, build your star base. And then start terraforming. Get you up to the next planet level, because you only have one more population room. Um, automated factory completed at Tannis 3, which is now building their biosphere. Hey! Cool, cool, cool. <coughs> of course. Alrighty. How many more turns until our um our Titan reaches the destination? Uh one, two, I think we have three more turns. We'll wait until this gets completed, and then we'll start moving on. Alright, Great Wasteland 2 has nothing to do. Alrighty. Um I guess for the time being. Uh, build yourself your upgrade to your battle station and then start getting ready to turn yourself into a Gaia planet. I think that's about the only other thing I want you to do. Cool. Interplanetary administration complete at Great Wasteland 2. Okay, and that's where the planet we were just at. Alright. Boo, boo, boo. I want you to guard yourself there until I need you. Boop, 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 boop. No, no. Let us not allow our tempers to get the best of us. Ooh, you guys want a peace treaty. You'll give me shield capacitor, battle scanner, and a payment. If I... 
Ooh. Shield capacitor looks pretty cool. Shield capacitors allow ships to harness solar winds, background cosmetic radiation, and other uh, weak energy sources, and use them to power its defense systems. This energy can be used to project a short-lived energy shield to protect the ship from a few seconds before failing. Hmm. Interesting. As much as I want that, I don't want to wait 20 turns to kill you. Sorry, bro. No hard feelings. <laughs> You're a tough customer. <laughs> I sure is, bro. I sure is. Good offer, though. Because if I don't wipe them out, the uh, Barathe will wipe them out, and then we'll have an even larger empire to worry about. Anyways, the Oracle Prime has grown. 12 out of 13. Currently working on getting Gaia transformations going. Threatening fleet detected. Um, that's not really that threatening, but okay. Uh, that is a Barathe scout that's coming in. How strong are the Barathe? We're way stronger than them because we have a Titan. Anyways, Holodeck Simulator has been completed at Sarm Prime, which is now building a soil enrichment facility. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we could probably... I mean, once that soil enrichment facility goes up, we'll have more production, so that's all good. Uh, Robo Miners completed at Lost Souls Prime, now building the research laboratory. Cool. We have plenty of production now, which is great. Uh, we might focus a little bit more on research. Battle station completed at Karak Prime, which is now currently building a nothing. Okay, and you are like plus one, so I cannot add any more buildings on you whatsoever. Uh, do do do. What do I want you to have? So you have a lot of production, so I want you to probably build me another battleship, maybe? And build me maybe cruiser, cruiser, carrier, uh, carrier. I'll put this one last, since these ones will get done pretty quickly. Alrighty, and battle station completed Tenheiser Gate as well. Uh, you still have a little bit more room. I might get you to build that. But after that, that's about all I want from you. I mean, we could get interplanetary uh, administration, but there's no real reason to have that on two planets. For the maintenance cost. I mean... Well, actually, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Because this planet is getting close to being all the way terraformed and being all the way developed. So he can start supplying resources to this planet to get it built and developed faster. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We're growing very rapidly. Um, I want that up there. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Boo, 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 boo. Two more turns and our Titan will join the fleet. Which will then send in to wipe this out. Oh. <laughs> I forgot I had these guys here. There you go. Unload. Now the planet's back to normal. <laughs> All right, so next, Angel Moon Prime has reached its maximum population. Okay, so now we will focus more on on doing stuff like that. So you get your terraforming complete. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. 
Great Wasteland 2 has grown. Awesome. Uh, that needs to go up to research. We don't have the pollution to handle that. There we go. A zoo two three six seven nine has grown. A two three two three seven six nine. <laughs> uh, doop, doop, doop. How much do you, you have? Eighty. Oh, because you have the recycle drawn on. Okay. You have a high level of uh production and whatnot. I think I'm gonna move you up to research. Colony Ship 7 has been completed at Higara, which is now building their battle station. Awesome. Now we'll let the uh, the planet build up a little bit more. Boop, 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 boop. And we'll keep it like that. Alright, Soil Richmond Facility completed on Age of Moon Prime, which is now building a spaceport. Cool. Now we have a little bit more production coming in, but until we get rid of this, it will be... Uh, um, still a little bit on the low side. Research laboratory completed at uh, Lost Souls, which is now beginning to terraform into a better planet. Cool. And battle station completed at Gozen 4, which is currently now not building anything. And so I want you to probably start building me some ships. So build me frigate, frigate, frigate. Um, planetary bombardment and destroyer. And super gravity has been researched. The philosophers have gleaned a new insight. So now torpedoes take up less space and are cheaper to construct. We now have a new torpedo called antimatter torpedoes, and we have warp dispenser or disperser. Warp Disperser creates a system-wide interference field, preventing an enemy ship from entering hyperspace, preventing retreat from combat, or the, or the use of FTL jump technology. So I believe we can put this on our system, and when people enter our system, they will no longer be able to jump. Or we could put it on our planet. I don't know. We'll have to figure that part out. Anyways, we have torpedo upgrades. So the planetary bombardment ship um, can now and more better antimatter torpedoes. So a lot more damage, a lot more attack, and um, the more um, construction. And Titans. Oh, it still has that that thing. What is the will of the fiefdoms, Marshal? Okay. And now warp fields. Ooh, pulsar or lightning field. Hmm. What's a pulsar do? Pulsar system emits a harmonic uh, resonance field around the ship, damaging all nearby ships, missiles, and fighters. Oh, an AOE ability. Interesting. A lightning field surrounds a combat ship with a membrane of ionized particles capable of overloading any missile or fighter passing through it. Once triggered, the field must be allowed to recharge before it can fire again. Interesting. So these are like anti-fighter AOE um, modules we can put on our ships. Nice. And let's see, what the heck is this? Hyperplanar transmitter tracking premises. HTTP consists of cutting edge laboratory dedicated to studying how to transmit and receive discrete pack packets of information from our, dim our dimension to a higher plane. Interesting. Uh, together with the transponder control plant and ultraplanar demo demorific uh, prospector, they are the key to transcend this plane of existence and achieve scientific victory. Oh, interesting. So this is something you need to do to scientific uh, victory playthrough. Hypersonic scanners, hyperspace communications, which helps with uh, command, something we don't really need yet. Uh, do, do, do. A sonic computer to have better ener energy weapon accuracy, which is something we don't really need yet. This will be useful. Um, hyperdrive, so we can have better movement. Plasma beam. Um, ooh. Energy weapon size dimension. Interesting. For the glory of the fiefdoms. Then we're gonna go with this research. And then next we might go with tectonic engineering. Alright. Uh, 
the boop colony ship. Need you to go here. Now we're all good to go. Alrighty. So Higara 2 has grown. Higara is slowly getting back up to the population it was originally at. Uh, cruiser cruiser has been completed at Karak Prime, which is now building another cruiser. Awesome. Uh, Solar Richmond facility completed at Sarum Prime, which is now building their spaceport to help get their credits up in the positives. Uh, Global DNA scanner completed AZ23769, which are now building the Astro University to help with research. Cool. Uh, spaceport completed at Tenheiser Gate Prime, which is now starting to do their terraforming operations. So that's cool. And then cross prospecting completed at Tannis Prime, which is now building their automated factory. So now their production is slowly getting up. Once this is built, then we'll start working on these to actually start growing the population. Kill. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, our fleet, it is ready. Let's so get this baby built. We'll move in. Cruiser, shoot to move up here. Um, boop. You guys are there, which we'll be using to take over this area. We'll go one more turn. We'll do a fight and we'll probably end this episode. Okay, terraforming completed at Great Wasteland Prime. Awesome. So Great Wasteland Prime is now a arid planet. Uh, and we are definitely going to be building a space elevator on this planet. Soil enrichment facility. Um, upgrade to a battle station. And maybe a global DNA scanner. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then Space Factory has completed its military outpost. Eee. All right. And then now you, Mr. Space Factory, shoot a move up here. And then our entire fleet is going to go over here and engage this guy. Engage! We have a very easy chance to win. We have one Titan, two battleships, uh, one carrier or two carriers, five cruisers, four destroyers, and we need more destroyers in the fleet. We got, I think, five destroyers, four planetary, five planetary, six planetary fighters. Yeah, so we need more destroyers and probably a few more frigates and more cruisers. Let's do this! Let's check our Titan out in battle. Oh, we can't fight because they're non-combat ships. Dang it! You suck. Uh, hmm. Shield restoration or ship repair per turn. Uh, shield restoration speed. Okay, hang on. We're going to do one more turn. I mean, we still have some time anyways. I have a proposition for you. Okay. Barathi won a non-aggressive, non-aggression payment, a pact, and they'll give me a bunch of money for it. Okay. Thanks, Zach. For now. My thanks. Until I wipe these guys out. You'll be, uh, you'll be alive for a little bit longer, uh, Barathi. Anyways, Tenheiser Gate 2 has grown. Nice, we're up to 18 population. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, you're about where you're, I want you to be. Great Wasteland Prime has grown. Awesome. Boopity boopity boo. Boopity boopity boo. And then Biosphere completed on Tannis 3. So now you're actually starting to grow your population. 
<laughs> got to get fungal farms and then um, hydroponic farm. Then after that, probably a neutron collider. Uh, space elevator, colonial revenue services, and then yeah, all the perks. Okay, well then, let's fight a planet. Discard there, and let's do this. They have a star base, a missile base, and orbital batteries. Let's take command and check out our Titan. Why don't you single-handedly move the Titan then? Holy crap! Okay, that's a giant ship. <laughs> it's just like boom titan wonder it took so long to build um yeah i would say the titan is a pretty big ship compared to a cruiser jeez they're ginormous such large weapons too um let's move the titan then and then i will follow behind Actually, if we just move the Titan with the battle cruisers escorting it, we should easily be able to beat those. Let's do this. Beep, beep. Big ship moving through. Beep, beep. Nice. There goes the Titan, launching its stuff. All of its beams of death. All right, everyone focus on this one. That one's the only one that actually can get through our shields. go launch the beams so many beams coming from the titan nice now i want you boys to focus on this one cool it's almost dead to focus on the main thing now how much health do you have you have 2,900 health and 539 shields cool not even using any of our phasers on our titan There go our phasers. <laughs> cool. Destroy that thing with three ships. Of course, our battleships took a little bit of damage, but I forgot how much damage those freaking missile things do. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, time to destroy the colony with 24 bombs. Oh, they have a planetary shield. So it hits the shields first. Not bad, not bad. They're starving! No! <laughs> My entire shield is still up though. Okay, well, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Yeah, our Titan. Freaking awesome. <laughs> um, if we get a couple more battleships and a lot more escorts, uh, we, we will have a fleet that can then we'll have a really, really hard time to be matched. 
And I can't wait, because uh, there is one more ship class that is above Titan that we can build once we get further in the research tree. And I cannot wait to get to uh, get the ability to build it. It's going to be freaking awesome. But uh, yeah, um, next episode, hopefully we'll be able to, write, to wipe out these um, systems and then come up here and wipe out the last system of the, of the uh, Nolems. Take these under our control and then get ready to start fighting back the Barathi. And then I want to we'll probably start over here, then attack this one, this one, this one, and then make our way to the Orion system. And then probably just keep going all the way around. Try to wipe out all of the Barathi. But anyways, yeah, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this. We, we are getting close to actually beating this game. Um, we're, we're getting to the point to where we're just starting to steamroll because uh, our tech and our, our fleets are so high compared to the other ones. Um, we are two technologies above the Barathi, so we do have a tech advantage right now. And obviously we have way more population than them, and then our power is uh, very, very strong. Um, which means we're going to be attacked by the Antarians a lot, but I am kind of looking forward to it. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. If you do, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Sobon signing out. The Baker have arrived. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive.